Woodstock, New York is considered the hippie mecca of America. This small town nestled deep in the Catskill Mountains of New York State, about 100 miles from New York City, has a unique vibe unmatched by other eclectic towns in the USA. We are going to explore this beautiful small town and show you the best places to see in this amazingly interesting mountain town. Hey guys, today we are in the beautiful, famous, quirky, and interesting Woodstock, New York. Now, Woodstock, New York is nestled deep in the Catskill Mountains of upstate New York. It's about 90 to 100 miles from New York City, and you're not going to get a train that goes here. Uh, you really have to drive. Uh, but once you get into town, it's very walkable. I mean, there are tons of restaurants, bars, stores, uh, little apothecaries. Uh, lots of different parks and things to do. So we are going to go through the entire town and I'm going to explain to you the best things to do and see when you're here in Woodstock. Now, the town has a fascinating past and a very colorful history. And it is often referred to as the most hippie town in America. So you're gonna see lots of peace signs, hippie stuff, mushrooms, psychedelics, uh, spiritual stuff, new agey stuff, and it's just a fantastic place to do a day trip or a long weekend from New York City. Um, also, if you're not from New York City and you're just traveling along the East Coast, it is definitely worth a stop. So, let's begin. So one thing that you have to check out when you're here in Woodstock is the Woodstock Playhouse. Now this playhouse is famous in the area and it's a historic building and what's great about it is you can see so many interesting plays right here in Woodstock. Now we're here in the early afternoon so it's pretty quiet and dead nobody's here but if you come most evenings there's usually some kind of show to see so I would recommend after you see the town and after you go through everything and cruise the town to come here for a show at night and there's lots of different shows you know check their website and see what they have um, and you can see kind of what tickles your fancy what show you might want to see at night A great restaurant that I recommend in Woodstock is Pearl Moon. The restaurant offers tons of different foods to satisfy many diverse palates and offers an attractive outdoor dining area and is dog and kid friendly. Check out the elegant interior that includes a stage for live music and impressive artwork to make your dining experience that much more interesting. Woodstock is known for its rich artistic history and vibrant cultural scene. The town serves as a haven and mecca for creative types, and this is evident in the variety of eclectic stores and shops that abound this interesting town. One thing that you definitely have to check out when in Woodstock is the Woodstock Flea Market. This market is not up and running year round and is most popular on weekend afternoons. If you are interested in scooping up a deal for a variety of items, this is the place to go. Here you will find an immense amount of unique, creative, decorative, and spiritual items that will definitely serve a unique purpose in your home. Here you can get handmade arts and crafts as well as find some interesting vintage toys and music. You can also find a variety of other items for personal care and clothing. Get some unique clothing that you won't find anywhere else or bring home a souvenir to remember your visit to this unique and eclectic town.
make sure you stop into Candlestock. This unique candle store is the go-to boutique for creative candles and decorations. You will find some of the most unique candle items that you've ever seen in your life and all match the peaceful, spiritual, and hippie vibe that Woodstock is so famous for. This is not your average candle store and you're sure to find something interesting for yourself or for a loved one as a gift. Woodstock's unique vibe is evident in its unique population. This includes longtime residents and newcomers seeking a bohemian lifestyle. The town's liberal, spiritual, and accepting aura creates a unique sense of community and fosters individual creativity. The town really celebrates the arts and maintains its reputation as a place of acceptance, simple living, and eco-consciousness. One thing that's cool about Woodstock is if you go off the main street for a little bit, so you can see it's very crowded on the main street, you get into these little hidden nooks behind the main street, right? So it's like wooded, there's like waterfalls, and then there's all these little cool stores, shops, restaurants, bars. So definitely check that out when you're here. Check out this cool hotel hidden in the woods and perched upon a waterfall. These sort of hidden gems are what make exploring the side streets of Woodstock so enticing. Make sure you fully explore the town and really wander to get the best experience. Woodstock gained international recognition when the town hosted the legendary Woodstock Music Festival in 1969 and subsequent concerts in 1994 and 1999. These concerts featured the performances of some of the most world-renowned rock and alternative performers. This musical tradition echoes through the vibe and feel of Woodstock and is apparent in many of the businesses. Technically, the music festival took place in nearby Bethel, New York, but the name Woodstock became forever associated with the 1960s countercultural movement and the town embraced this reputation up until today as a center of peace, love, and good music. The legacy of this music festival is talked about heavily in the history of music as the original music festival wasn't really planned out. It sort of sprang up and lasted for several days as more and more famous musicians of the time flooded a nearby farm entertaining young countercultural youth of the time. It really was the concert of all time and the later festivals of the 1990s had the same vibe but more of a 90s grunge and alternative vibe. The history of these legendary concerts keep people coming to this famous town from all over the world year after year. Visitors hope to get a glimpse of real hippies and sort of get into the character of the town by wearing their most favorite band shirts or by sporting peaceful and spiritual clothing. If you 
you want to get some cool bohemian type clothing, I recommend you check out Woodstock Blues. This store is really dedicated to supplying merchandise to honor the history of the famous Woodstock Music Festival and really accentuates the importance of the rock and alternative music scene in this town. Okay, if you want to check out a pretty trendy, cool, and different and unique bar here in Woodstock, I recommend you check out Early Terrible, which is behind me. So this bar basically is really quirky and interesting. They play really cool, kind of trendy lounge music, and um, you really sit anywhere. It's dog friendly. Uh, it's baby friendly. You really just kind of sit anywhere, and they have like a lot of cool seating areas and. Fabulous drinks and really good music. So definitely check that out if you're interested in a little bit of nightlife here in Woodstock. Have a drink at Early Terrible and meet some cool people as you lounge under one of their creative seating sections. This bar has a trendy yet laid back vibe, has amazing drinks, and plays tastefully trendy music. Come in the afternoon for a chill vibe or in the evening for a more party vibe. One thing you must check out when you're here in Woodstock is the KTD Tibetan Buddhist Monastery. So KTD has a longer name above or uh, look in the little note there. Very difficult to say. But anyways, this is a beautiful Tibetan Buddhist Monastery, about 10 minutes drive from Woodstock Town. So you go up the mountain, you know, you drive, it's about 10 minutes um, through the forest, up the mountain, and then you come to this beautiful, peaceful, Buddhist monastery. Now, I encourage you to go in, uh, go into the temple, um, but you know, be quiet, be respectful. It is a place of worship. Um, you know, go there to meditate. A lot of hikers actually go here to meditate after they do the Overlook Mountain Trail, which is actually right adjacent to it. The trail hood is right adjacent to the monastery. So you'll see a lot of um, hikers going in there and well, and it's just a incredibly meditative place and it really is beautiful so let's head in the karma triyana dharma chakra tibetan buddhist temple is a sacred and spiritual sanctuary nestled deep into the beautiful catskill mountains the temple serves as the north american seat for famous tibetan buddhism leader his holiness Wang Wang karmapa the temple was established in 1976 and the temple's traditional Tibetan design and architecture creates a unique space for prayer and meditation. The temple welcomes visitors and the friendly monks are more than happy to teach you about the sacred history and teachings of Tibetan Buddhism. The music scene is around every corner in Woodstock. Check out this completely random free concert I found right outside the Woodstock library. I love how the people here truly love life and seem completely removed from the everyday stresses that we so often endure. Okay guys, that was Woodstock, New York. Now I had an amazing time showing you America's most hippie town and it really is an amazing place to spend a weekend afternoon. I mean, go through all the stores, get that hippie vibe. I mean, it really has that old 60s 
hippie vibe and it really is a unique place to visit. Listen guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like this video, share this video with your friends, um, and let me know in the comments box if you have any questions or have any recommendations of maybe some things that I missed. Okay guys, until next time, take care, bye.